What's up, guys? So a few days ago, I was walking around, and I found my old webcam back there, and I was like, I hate that I spent so much money on this, and it's not being put to use. And I'd been watching some other streamers that had some really cool, like, different angles with cameras, and I thought, well, you know what? I'd like to try and set up something like that on my stream, but I don't want to have to press a button every time I want to change the camera angle. And, you know, I... I put a little bit of effort into it, and I was trying to figure out how you can actually do that, and I found a OBS Studio plugin called Advanced Scene Switcher, and I wanted to show you guys just how you can actually work it, and you can do something like what I have. So let's go ahead, and let's get right to it. Alright, go ahead, open up Google, type in Advanced Scene Switcher, and then click on the first thing. It talks about the OBS forums. You can go ahead, you can download it, and then it's going to tell you basically what to do right here. So we're going to extract the folder that we just downloaded. So showing folder. We'll go ahead. We've technically already extracted it, but we can do it again. Um, we can extract files. Okay. We'll wait for it. Boom. So now we've opened the folder that we've created. Now, within this folder, there's going to be a .dll that needs to be copied over. And if we double-click this, we're going to go to Windows. You're going to see 32-bit, or you're going to see 64-bit. Now, honestly, you're probably going to just install 64-bit. If for some reason it doesn't work, feel free to set up the 32-bit version. But I'm 99.99% sure 64-bit is probably going to work for you. Uh, but then here is the DLL. So then all you need to do is go to let's go ahead and sort of start fresh on this oof can we not be a pain in the butt this is the fun part of having a 4k tv as a second monitor so if we click local disk and then we go to program files and then we go to obs studio which is probably right in front of me it is obs plugins 64 bit you're going to notice it's already there all you need to do is click this and drag and drop it over there. Now, if we back out of it, you're going to notice there's 32-bit that can still be put in there. There are certain plugins that are only 32-bit, which I believe NDI is one of them. That's why that's there. But they can also get a little bit confusing because x86 stands for 32-bit. And then if you go in here, there's OBS Studio, even more plugins. But all you really need to worry about with this is just strictly putting in the normal program files, not the x86, put it directly into the 64-bit. And once you've done that, we'll go ahead and we'll show you how to actually get it set up in OBS. Alrighty, so now that you have OBS Studio open, just go up here to Tools, click that, and then Advanced Scene Switcher. You're going to want to make sure you have this selected, and you're going to want to hit start on that. And then you can go over here and click random. Now, I have these already added. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding scenes, and then from there, you're going to be able to change how they transition and basically the duration of the time that you're going to be seeing those scenes. So the way that I do it, I pretty much have the same exact scene but the only thing that changes is my video source. And you really can't tell that there's actually a scene that's being changed. All you're seeing is the video source. So we can go ahead. Let's just select one of the scenes. Sure, let's go with that. I always use fade. And then we're going to be looking at this scene for, I don't know, 30 seconds. Hit the plus button. Now you see it. Oh, wait, I don't want it. Click it. And you can just hit the minus. Now let me show you what it looks like when it's actually working. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. It's really just extracting a zip file, copying over a folder, and then opening up OBS Studio in a few clicks, and you're ready to go. So if you have any questions, any issues with this, please let me know. Just leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Happy streaming.